guys, before we get into today's video, I want to remind you about my whatnot store, okay? If you wanna hang out with me live and get access to exclusive Dirtbag Outdoors merch, shirts, golf tees, slings, the whole nine yards. I got more dirt bags actually coming very soon. They're in production. Uh, you have to follow me on my whatnot store, okay? I put the link down below. I'm gonna give you $15 for free. Wow. Just for signing up, guys. I'm doing a show live uh, at least once or twice a week, sometimes three, four in a row. It's awesome, huge, awesome community down there. You guys are great. Check it out down below. Let's get back to the video. Guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. I'm out at the 200 yard range with the pawn shop rifle. We got the Griffin Dual Lock 5 adapter installed. It's awesome. I'm absolutely loving it. And we're going to do the 200 yard test. I got you zoomed in on the zoom cam. Hopefully you can see it. We are going to start off like we usually do with wolf. And I've only got these three rounds left of the wolf. So let's, uh, let's hope we are on paper. You know what I'm saying? Side note, this rifle's doing something weird where it's like not fully engaging the uh, the hammer spring or something. So I may, I may have snipped a little too much. I don't know. Um, I'm going to go ahead and order a kit and just replace it. So without further ado, let's just get right into this. I don't, I don't ever shoot this far. I don't know what I'm doing. We're just going to go for it. Bottom left target. Hopefully, hopefully we're there. in sport mode. on the tragedy tech. All right, guys, a few weeks later, we're back in the studio to recap this, okay? I shot that a while ago, but now I'm back. And I'm excited to talk about the $100 pawn shop rifle. How did it do at 200 yards? I told you guys I was gonna do it. I also got some grouping at 100 yards. And let me just cut to the chase. We're, it's a sub MOA rifle. Not every time, okay, not every time. A couple of them, I'm pretty sure it was my fault, uh, but the majority, you know, it, it, it was shooting, you know, three inch groups or so roughly on average, but there are definitely some under MOA in here. So. Quick recap of the rifle. Savage Axis, the original, non-accu trigger. Um, it's got a Vortex uh, 4 to 16 on there, as well as a Griffin Armament Dual Lock 5 can. Of course, you don't need either of those. You don't need that scope. You don't need that can. You just need a cheap rifle you can pick up at a pawn shop and shoot sub MOA. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get into the targets here. So the 100-yard target, all right, we shot right there in the center, as you can see. The unlimited ammo shot a 0.5 inch group at 100. Guys, that's half them away. $100 rifle with a super regular shooter. You know what I mean? That's pretty dope. 200 yards, guys. Check this out. All right. I'm actually pretty stoked about this one. Uh, let's see. We got a 1.9. Not very good. We got a 5 inch group. That was me with a huge flyer. Uh, here it is. Here it is right here. 200 yards right there pmc 223.74 at 200 yards guys that's that's pretty that's pretty damn good i don't care who you are for this hundred dollar hundred beans hundred bones setup uh that's that's dope i don't know i don't know you guys let me know what you think if you like this kind of thing make sure you hit that subscribe button make sure you leave a comment hit that like button check out the links down below we'll see you next time take it easy